Hey guys, recently I have read certain comments where you have mentioned that you guys, are, some of you are facing bugs or issues like screen freezing or screen flickering. So in this video, I'll show you certain tricks that you can try to fix these problems. And one heads up, uh, if it is caused by any faulty hardware of your device, then these tricks will not help. You have to see your you know, Nokia Care or any care center if you're using any other devices. Okay, because if it is a hardware issue, these tricks will not help you guys. But still, you can give a try to these and if it helps, then do let me know in the comments. So, let's get started. The very first thing that you can try is to force restart your device. If the device has freezed or you are observing any kind of screen flickering for the first time, then first thing that you should do, try to force shut down the device and reboot. How to do it? Simply press the volume down button and the power button together and wait for at least uh, five to six seconds and after that you will see that the device will shut down and after that uh, when you see this uh, light okay the android logo then you will have this uh, menu here okay so what you have to do click the volume button okay and select this option uh, recovery mode okay and then what you have to do simply click on power button tap the power button and this will take you to the recovery mode again and then you have to do one thing and this step may differ from you know device to device so here you will get this uh, menu here you can see that the first option is reboot system now and you can select the you know options here by clicking the volume rockers here now if you want to select the first option this will actually reboot the device and this is called force restart okay now this trick may help you to get rid of these uh, issues like you know screen freezing or screen flickering and if it helps then you don't have to do anything else now if you do it and after that still you are facing the you know the problems then what you can do after following the same step till this screen what you have to do simply select this option wipe data factory reset okay so this is the second method and this is called factory reset okay or hard reset but you must know that this will clear or wipe out all your data okay so you must must take backup before doing this okay make sure that you have all the backup and you know the password the google id that you are using okay so that you can you know uh, what you can do you can retrieve the data on your device okay so you must do this first take the backup and you should know the password the ids okay so if you want to do this wipe data factory reset select this and press the power button that's it okay so this is the hard reset option so first option is simply force restart okay simply selecting this option reboot system now and then wipe data factory reset if the first option doesn't work for you now this is the last option that i would suggest wipe data factory reset there are other tricks that i'll show you okay now the third trick that you can try and i would suggest that before doing the hard reset uh, or factory reset you should uh, try this method first and see if it fixes your problem now what do you have to do uh, you should run the device for at least one or two hours in you know safe mode now to do this what do you have to do simply press the power button and when you see this power off icon here tap and hold there and then you will see this option reboot to safe mode and click ok okay now uh, what it does it will disable all the third party apps that you have installed on your device so if any third party app is causing the screen freezing or you know screen flickering issue then you will come to know that uh, yes it is due to third party apps then what do you have to do simply uninstall all the third party apps and try to find out which particular app is causing it by installing one by one okay one by one apps so yes it will not show you which particular app is causing this problem but you will come to know that yes it is due to third party apps okay so here you can see okay it shows here safe mode and it will disable all the third party apps on my device here you can see that these are disabled here okay only the google stock apps they are active okay so this way you can see whether the third party apps are causing the problems or not okay once you have found that yes it is due to third party apps 
so you will not uh, you know experience those problems like screen flickering or any screen freezing in safe mode the fourth uh, trick that you can try is hidden in the developer option so if you have not turned on the developer option then what you have to do simply go to settings and then about phone and then scroll down and tap here for six to seven times okay build number and then use your pattern now it is on simply go to system here system and there you will have this option developer options okay tap there and scroll down and under this menu scroll down this one hardware accelerated you know rendering and there you will have this option disable hardware overlays okay turn this on okay so this means the device will use the gpu for screen compositing okay so see if it fixes your problem of screen flickering particularly and uh, yes it, it sometimes fixes your screen freezing as well okay so you can try this as well now these are the tricks that i believe that can fix your problems now there are other ways also you should check that if you have used any you know screen guard or any screen protector that can also cause screen flickering particularly so try removing that and even you know the cover which touches the edges so that can also cause screen flickering so try to remove those and then see if it uh, still there and if it is there that means the problem is not because of the screen guard or the cover now another thing that you should try uh, try to update all the apps that you have installed okay what you can do simply go to play store and update all the apps now if these tricks they don't work for you guys that means it is caused by any hardware component of your device that means you have to visit your you know technical support center whether it is nokia then you have to go to nokia care or if you are using any other device then you should visit your service center okay if it is caused by hardware then these tricks will not help and another thing that I would like to tell you again is that the methods of you know the force rebooting the device or hard resetting or safe mode the steps may differ from you know device to device so I suggest that you google the steps of your particular device and see if it works and if it works then do let me know in the comments and if it doesn't even then also you just tell me okay and uh, yes if you end up like this liking this video do share and do subscribe to watch more videos okay cheers till the next video